So, the following video, the fiasco it is, is my trip to the Cory Library dollar bag book sale on two days ago on Sunday. I planned on having a better video, but I'm using my old camera and it's not too good, but hopefully you can enjoy what I did film and I had a little bit of fun putting it together and then I'll have a new note at the end because uh, it kind of ends with not a big finale, so, all right. Hope you enjoy it. So, it's off to the Cory Library book sale. Awesome town of Union City. I'm gonna stop in at the thrift store up here, the Salvation Army store, and see if I can find anything good. Oh shit. Well, back on the way to Cory to the library, I did pick up a bag of goodies that I will show when I get done. Uh, a lot of stuff at that thrift store. Well, it looks like we made it to Glory. Gonna be late though. Yeah, I was supposed to be up here at 10 o'clock, before 10 o'clock, because there'll be a line probably. Uh, I guess. It's meant to be, it's meant to be. Damn, my streets, Glory. There it is. Cory Public Library, going in. Oh God, there's a lot of people here. See, there's a line. Don't mind my full van. I'm gonna maybe sneak you guys in. Maybe you can meet Bill. We'll see. As, as I figured, way too much junk at the library. <laughs> Not five bucks, got lots of books. I probably will not go through all this. It'll take a three hours to sort all these books out for a video, but we'll see. I'm getting way too old for this, I think. A regular job would be nice. You hear that camera? Go. What? Long time. <laughs> you want to say something? It's smaller than. This is Bill. Well, I got a lot of stuff, bags and bags, and I think Bill said there was some VHS still in there to get. Um, I'm going to have to go in and look that stuff over, so we'll see what happens. Well, it looks like I got a couple more full bags of CDs. That's going to be a lot. <sighs> I'm sure glad I got that stuff out of here. It's crowded in that room. I'm going to uh, go in and see about some VHS tapes that Bill said there might be. So maybe I'll find some treasures. Well, I just spent a long time in the Cory Thrift Store. They have pretty good prices in that store. They had some rare oddities, which I'll probably put into my next video of my finds, because I'm just going to have too much for this. Maybe it'll be in a part or something, but uh, there's, I don't know, there were some rare jam jars. So I'm hoping they're everything I think they are. And I didn't blow the last of what little money I have left. So we'll see. Here we are. Driving to Spartanburg. Oh, 
And there it ends. Uh, I didn't get to go through all the stuff. I had just so many books. It was a dollar a bag, so, you know, there was just <laughs> a lot of stuff. And I had CDs and a few books. Got a neat Mercyhurst 1973 yearbook with Jane Fonda in it. She must have visited. And I got some neat CDs. I put a lot of country on eBay for a certain price. It was, uh, hopefully they'll sell. I, uh, got some neat stuff at the Cory Thrift Store. That's probably one of the reasons I kind of got right into it, because I'm not a lot of money, and I need to get the stuff sold. So I picked up a couple PD Orchards jam jars from the 40s, if you're familiar with that stuff. They're kind of rare. I got a Stella the Strawberry, and I already sold her for $40. Maybe I was a little cheap, but I don't mind giving a deal and move the stuff quick, and everybody's happy. I'm happy. Um, and I still got two more. I bought one called, they had it labeled Mike Melon, but it was really Billy Banana, and they had two of those, but I only bought one, and then the lid was a little loose, so I'm figuring they swapped the lids around, so I'm going to pick up the other one this Thursday. They're holding it for me, supposedly. We'll see. And then I had a Penny the Pineapple, which she had a little bit of damage on the lid, so I put her on for $30. But uh, I think it's a fair price. And I got a Chalkware of Stella the Strawberry. I didn't buy, they had another one, I think it was maybe Charlie Cherry or something, but he had a lot of cracks and stuff in his finish and his paint, so I left him. Well, they had a basket also labeled Saki Cups. Did I pronounce that right? Uh, anyway, and they were two for 99, and I happened to notice there was a set of six of different colors, and they were made Arabia, made in Finland, and I didn't think they were probably sake cups made in Finland. So, and they had eggs around the outside, so I picked them up. They cost me 297 plus tax, and I've already sold those for $70. I sold them that same evening or morning when I got up, they were sold, and the woman's going to be real happy with them. And I think I gave them fair price. A set of six is not easy to come by, and they sell the set of five of them and usually call it a set, <laughs> like they do on eBay sometimes. And uh, they were selling for around 45 but every set, the two sets that sold for 45 both had one damaged cup in it. So. I think I gave a fair price, especially since they sold that fast. It must have been pretty good. Anyway, and then, uh, what else did I get? I got a... Hmm. Here's a couple of the other things I got. A couple of these neat 19, I think they're in the 50s or 60s. Uh, two of those uh, statue busts for co great composers. There's my Penny Pineapple. I apologize for the lighting. My electric in this back storeroom is quirky. There's a carved owl I bought at the thrift store in Union City. Kind of cool. And there's my uh, Billy Banana waiting for his twin to come and swap their heads. Well, hopefully they will fit better. You can see there's kind of a big gap there. So, I don't know. It's a little disappointing when I have to plan a trip to Cory or have my buddy pick it up for me, Bill. But we'll see what happens. Uh, so, I guess that'll be it. And hopefully, um, you'll enjoy this video for what it is. And I apologize. I'll keep working on it and try to get it better. And hopefully, more entertaining. And I will try to start using my phone and we'll get better footage than this mess. So. Until next time, I guess, uh, I will unfreeze myself now and we'll kind of finish the video. Bye-bye.